in Sarah Kick. Thank you very much. Magnet, congratulations. First one of our quarterfinals is done. Fnatic are in the semi-finals. <laughs> Commiserations to Nora Rengo over there, your good friends from the Japanese team. It's always thrilling seeing you teams play each other. How does the win feel right now for you? Very, very good. We came into this knowing that it was going to be a bittersweet ending for APAC, but also for us, we know each other so well, so we, both teams can focus on the uh, games further in the competition. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, this one, though. You banned out Thatcher on border, played a load of defense rounds, started on defense, but when you got to attack, it felt like maybe that had backfired a little bit. Do you feel like it did? It wasn't really the Thatcher ban that did backfire. It was just the fact that they were playing so aggressive and running out everywhere and peeking and everything. So it started, we started to struggle there, but we found our footing and we managed to get the win. And tell us a little bit about your play on that second map there. You did a, as a team, but also, you know, yourself. Nice bit of just running the clock down there, just holding back. You're playing very patient play. Tell us how you do that. Basically, I just have a look and listen to my call-outs about where the enemy's pushing, and that pretty much sets myself up for where I'm going to go later in the round. I do have to say, Virtue is the greatest Jaeger player. You got 21 kills on board. He's insane. Big thanks to him on that map, but definitely teamwork and clubhouse. Yeah, 21 for Virtue on board, which we think might be the new record or tied record for most number of kills in a game. Uh, I think CGG are working on that. Uh, yeah, so Virtue did that, but you were holding your bit as a team. The whole team have done it. So you can never write off a team like Norarengo. As I say, good friends of yours, but you must have been preparing for what's coming later on too. Yes, we are definitely preparing for what's coming on later. Not going to speak about that much, but we're ready. It's always worth asking, but to be honest, I never expect him to tell me anything. Magnet, Fnatic in the semi-finals. Congratulations. Starks Flynn, thank you very much. I have Karzeka, I have semi-finalists. They're the European Team Empire. <laughs> Karzeka, congratulations. First map, another big overtime here in Milan. And you were telling me just this moment, just before we came on camera now, you were actually thinking that was probably going to go to three. Yeah, we actually were ready for three maps because we know that Bank was their strongest map and we are like kind of decent on bank, so we mentally were prepared for three maps and it was okay for us if we will lose one first map, so we were ready to win the other two maps. And we know Team Empire, you've said before, as a team in the past, you don't really counter strat opponents, you want to turn up and play your game, but it did seem like you'd done some prep work for Dark Zero, particularly with that Blitz ban, that seemed targeted. Yeah, I mean, we actually haven't watched a lot of faults. We just saw that uh, from the Pro League play days that all the NA teams banning Blitz and uh, Montaigne on bank versus them. And we just like, okay, we don't like to play versus Shield, so we're just going to ban Blitz and Montaigne and just that's all. You make this sound very casual, Kazeka. <laughs> uh, talk to me about Dan. He joined, I think, a month ago today, 30 days ago. Today, he seems to have fitted in like he's been with you all the time. Yeah, I mean, Dan's performance was like absolutely crazy. It's her, it's his first uh, LAN event. It's his first like serious game, and he just unleashed all his power and showed that he's uh, like decent. That we picked him up. And one more question for you. Last time we saw you, of course, six Invitational World Championships, monster game against G2. How did you feel coming to this final, thinking, oh, we were so close to grabbing one last time? I mean. Uh, we will be happy if we win this tournament, but to be the best, you need to be the best. But the best team is not here, so that's kind of 50-50. Well, we'll take it one step at a time and see who is the best team here. Team Empire, go to the semi-finals. <laughs> Kicks, and Terry, thank you very much indeed. I have another semi-finalist. The Latam number one seed, they are FaZe Clan. Congrats. Cameraman and the guys will be playing again tomorrow. So, Bank, a little bit of a surprise that you went to that on the first map. Yes, um, Late Stream is a team that uh, they go for a map that is the favorite of the opponent. So we kind of expect them to pick Bank, even though we're uh, good in Bank. And yeah, they, we were prepared for it, and everything ended well. We know they're creative, we know their mirror placements can be uh, showing us some new things sometimes. Did any of that catch you out? How did you deal with it? Um, they were playing the mirror and uh, 
playing downstairs and defending the mirror, so it was a very good play. And they won most of the, I think, all of the CEO defenses. So, yeah, uh, we, we need to improve on that. But besides that, we played uh, very well, even on defense. So I'm very proud of the team. You say you played well. I think we'd all agree with you. Kix in particular said he thinks that's the best he's ever seen of FaZe. How do you feel? Are you up? The, is that where you would rank that match? Uh, I think on a second invitational we were uh, better, but we're still uh, improving a lot. Every scream, every tournament that we lose, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, we kind of um, improve because of the losses, and this this is good for us. Yeah. I hope to get further in this tournament. So yeah. The Brazilian teams, you're always very relaxed. It's kind of a cultural thing, right? Everybody's here to have fun, but you take the game very seriously. What I mentioned to you earlier on, FaZe looked particularly happy and relaxed before anything had happened today. You were mucking around earlier on on one of our cameras over there. There's a brilliant picture of cameraman being a cameraman on our Twitter, so look for that. You all seem to be in a really good place. Last Pro League Finals, oh, made it all the way to the final and lost it there because of those map issues. So you're in a really good spot now. Yeah, um, we, I talked to the boys, uh, we didn't even su were supposed to be here because the first split was like a mess and we just said, okay, so let's enjoy and hope everything ends well and that, that happened, so I'm really happy about this. Yeah, that's what you said in your video before the game, that you thought from your season you wouldn't even make it to final, so pressure is off. Yes, yes, at all. And it's working. FaZe, go to the semi-finals. Congratulations again, cameraman. And we'll find out who they're going to face in our next quarter-final, which is coming up. But let's go back to the desk, talk more about that game. Starks Flynn, thank you very much. Immortals, thank you very much. But it is evil geniuses. On the Sunday, you'll have to play again. And I think your fans will be so pleased, obviously, to have you there. You worked hard for that win. You make your fans work hard for wins as well. Oh, my God, evil geniuses. You take us to the wire. We all pretty much thought that was going to three. But Necros, you're going to be playing tomorrow in the semifinals. Feels good? You are kind of, you got that energy about you of, like, can't quite stand still. I am, yeah, I am pretty pumped up. We haven't made, made it out of quarterfinals in a real long time since yeah. Sao Paulo, I believe which was like year one, or year two, season one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Year, two, year two, season three. Yeah, so well over a year ago, like 18 months ago. Yeah, it's been a while, and uh, we're really happy to break the curse, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it has felt a little bit like a curse. We talked about it, I remember chatting with Canadian in those kind of terms as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about roles on the team. Things have changed a bit. Start of the season, six months ago now, uh, Young was doing sort of Monty plays and getting intel that way. It feels like that role has actually become a little bit more Canadians. Whereas the Canadian with the woo that we used to see, that does seem to be a little bit more like Young on the team kind of lifting everybody up. What's going on? So the primary reason for our role changes is literally to change things up. So usually when we get comfortable within our roles, we start to get into a slump because uh, we're sort of doing the same things over and over and over. Um, it's uh, almost refreshing to put people in different roles. I am also in a different role. Uh, currently, I'm our entry fragger, and I don't believe I've played our entry fragger in a real long time. Um, but yeah, that's the main reason. I guess people have always thought about EG needing to make changes. You went coach, you came back in again. We've talked about that before at other games and other finals. Um, the easy thing for people to say outside of, you know, these stages watching is, oh, roster changes. What you guys are doing in role changes, and it seems to be coming together. Yeah, um, in terms of longevity, uh, you need to be able to play with a team for a long time, right, to build that connection with players. Because otherwise, if you constantly make role changes, um, you're not going to have that connection, and it's going to be a little inconsistent. Um, we have made role, role changes in the past, um, just not nearly as much as other NA teams. Uh, main reason is to build that connection. And one more question for you. It feels, and it's slightly difficult to explain, but it feels like a slightly different EG. Like chatting to you guys earlier, earlier on today, and a big long day we've had, feels slightly different, feels slightly, should we say calmer, slightly more, still confident, but not maybe kind of that over the top confidence outward confidence that we used to have. Am I allowed to cuss? I'd rather you didn't, even if it is basically midnight. We're just tired of fucking losing. 
There you go. I understand where you're coming from. Necrox and EG, you heard it. You know how they feel. We'll see some more of them tomorrow because Evil Genius is a back in the semi-finals.